Tomorrow it will be clear and sunny. Our fortune is slightly positive. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back in with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Fish focus. Salmon. Salmon return to their spawning ground in fall to lay eggs. That means the rivers are chock full of them. You only find them in fall, so get out there and cast your pole. I'm busy. That's right. I have pancakes in here. I have pancakes in here. Did you sleep okay? You were storing a little. I got some chores to do in here. Have a good day. Love. Pancakes are for Jody's birthday, which is today. And this is our final blackberry season day. How about that? We have some work to do here on the farm. E-I-E-I-O. The fairy roses are done. That is not actually changing my flavor of honey. I have misremembered things. I don't feel like picking them but there's up and planting them. I, I would only need one there to change the flavors anyway, but I just don't feel like... I feel like having it prettified, you know? I'll go out of my way to get this. Hey, Envy. Is this, is this a tree going behind my house? Who's a good girl? It's you! Yes, it is. <laughs> How dare that fucking tree. We'll get the forges fired up in a little bit. You love my, love my pathfinding. My pathfinding is... Everyone says I have great pathfinding. The best pathfinding. We have the finest pathfinding here. A necropolis farm. Everyone knows it. Everyone says it. It's the best. It's simply the best. All right. Okay. Actually, if I want to, I know what I said, but uh, local Grimoth changes his mind. What a fucking surprise. I can't believe this shit. How could he do this to us and betray us in this way? That's fucked up. Gently take out this bro. Right, so we do need to sell some fairy roses. Look at all of these non-stacked fairy roses. This is sell those, sell those, and those, sell that too. Definitely sell those. Might as well sell the blackberries. Check that. And I'm selling all of these except for these two stacks right here. Actually, keep the stack of three. Mm -hmm. I do like fairy roses for something that was added in 1.5. Hey! Hi, honey. Hey, I have an idea. I want to get everyone together for a charity cakewalk. Charity cakewalk? Uh, it's kind of like musical chairs. Did I sell the pancakes? But everyone wins and gets cake. You'll see. It'll be on the next sunny day in the town square. Um, would you mind bringing a chocolate cake? Yes or yes begrudgingly. Yes. Great, I'll meet you in the town square tomorrow, weather permitting. Love. Bring a chocolate cake tomorrow. I didn't sell the pancakes. Hey, how about that? <laughs> Momentarily filled with doubts. Alright, so we have our task to bring a chocolate cake to town tomorrow. We shall see about that. Uh, put this in here. Put that in here too. Put this in there. I was thinking about hauling those things to... Pierre to sell them directly so I get to have the money straight up. But I think I'm just going to commission a shed today. Your wife is organizing a charity cake walk in the town square. She asked you to bring a chocolate cake. 
Well, we do have some of those that are boxed up and perpetually saved. Because uh, chocolate cake never goes bad. Facts of life. Glad I could teach you all about that. Alright. Sold so many hops. That's okay. Alright, Jody should be at home. If I want to get the shed built, I can always just have uh, Robin move it around later. I can tear some stuff up and get it positioned. Hell, I might not reposition it until fall. It is a mystery to everyone, especially me. I'm gonna take a stack of wood, and I'm gonna take the stack of stone. And I'm going to say this has got to be good enough. I choose to believe that's true. Oh, um, one more thing, I guess. Come here, Heinrich. I meant to do this while I was inside as well, but I got distracted by the cakewalk announcement. I'm bringing a pink cake. Of course you are. Pink just like your insides. Wait, what? Bam. Pam. Good to see you, Pam. The Pamster. Pamarino. Pamaroonie. <laughs> Alex is in need of quartz. Well, I do definitely have that. But, you know. You know. It's a bit out of my fucking way to have all that. Hey, Alex. Jody. <laughs> Oh, hi, Grimith. I was just about to have a snack. Here, let me get something for you. Oh, no. What a mess. What was that sound? Oh. This is absolutely terrible. What happened? Oh, Grimith. Uh... Sam handed me the snack, and then I dropped it. Y yeah that's what happened. Thanks for telling me the truth, Grimmeth. It's not such a big deal. I'm sorry about this, Mom. I'll clean it up. I mean, I'd fucking hope so. Thanks, honey. And you're giving me a new egg, Farmer Grimmeth. I'm like, okay. That's cool. Also, happy birthday. Remember my birthday? Thank you. This was great. If I spoiled the boys a bit, they never had to do any chores. Sam's basically a man now. So, hope he hasn't grown up to be lazy. That won't do. Being a parent isn't very easy. Jody does not crack the top five. Pam holds the number five slot. The top five is my wife, fucking Demetrius of the 90,000 requests, Linus, Penny, and Penny's mom. I think I have some driftwood that you would like, but you'll have to come by the far. <laughs> Marnie. Oh, you brought the cave carrot. Thank you so much, Mr. Grimmeth. You got it. Ta-da, do you like my chest? It is a fine chest. This looks great. I almost want to eat it myself. Almost. I have more cave carrots. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. I really do appreciate it. It'd be easier if you wanted iron ore, but it's cool. Whatever. Thanks again for helping me out. And my goats say thanks, too. That's adorable. So, we're gonna want a heater at some point. Auto grabbers also exist, by the way. Automatically harvest from your animals each morning. I was hoping to find one from a chest in the skull cavern. That's okay. Dog houses and cat trees and bird houses. It's all new stuff that I'm not used to. And hey, only 50 per. So I definitely do want to continue to 
get hardwood so I can fill this weekend request. I didn't find any uh, hardwood in the mines yesterday. That's perfectly okay. Uh, we are... We're on pace. That, uh, that hardwood behind the bookseller contributed. Sensibly need to do that. I grabbed the scythe so that I would actually get some grass for the animals. I know there's that slime down there. Well, bye! Like, no way, come back, I wanted to fight! <laughs> Either that or good. Fucker's gone. Wait, where's Ted at? Ted! No, Ted! Ted! Fucking bastard killed Ted! I'd be fucking leave of all. I only got two hardwood from that stuff. Can't believe that stump shortchanged me. Should have this done tomorrow. What, and then I'm gonna go to Robin's tomorrow, too? Hmm. Maybe I skip Robin's today. Have you ever seen a fairy? Yes. Wow, I wanna see one, too. I have seen a fairy. I was totally looking outside my house. You don't know. <laughs> Why is it a You don't know! Shut up, little kid! Just fucking walk away. Hello, little animals. You thought I forgot about you today, didn't you? The truth of the matter is... I did. <laughs> Full disclosure. <laughs> yes. Found you, you little adorable bastard. This will leave some time for uh, some more grass to grow before the end of fall. Okay. Looks like I filled it up because uh, I stopped gathering. I forgot whether uh, it ended up going into your inventory or not. I believe we got our answer to that. I'm glad I put that fucking Santa hat on here. Because holy shit, I needed that to help me. Yep. Yeah, I'm just putting all that, uh, all that grass to the scythe. You notice that I stopped picking up any hay. That was a way to teach me that everything was full also. Take that back. I'm apparently carrying those eggs with me. I am going to go see Robin today, though. Damn it. Because I also want to see the tappers today. God bless it. Grimma's just me. Like, you wanted to make sure you had the wooden stone. How is it that you walked, a you, you galloped away from there without the wooden stone? Like, oh, hey, I bend these. Let me make sure I get these back. Proceeds not to. Where'd the stone go? <laughs> Just... <laughs> What the fuck ever, Grimmin? <laughs> I have typically put rock and wood together in my, uh, runs. Did I say rock and stone earlier? It doesn't matter. I saw those really worms. Hey, you. I want you to make house renovations. Oh, these cost money now. I don't just get to do these for free. That's fine. Oh, shit, there's a dining room now? Okay. There's a staircase up? Okay. I was used to the southern room. I was used to opening the bedroom. I was used to a corner room. 
And then I'm like, wait, I'm in a dining room? Cubby? Attic? Huh. Okay. I guess it's reasonable that this shit costs money now. Fine, fine, fine. No, it's fine. It's fine, whatever. So if I wanted to upgrade the coop, I would need... Oh, it's only 20,000. Not 25,000. And I brought stuff to sell Pierre. I was like, just even some of those fairy roses, I'd have it for sure. What matters more to me? The auto feed system is whatever. Like, Haley might take care of it for me for a few days. Obviously, in winter, it'll be more of an interest. Unlocking rabbits right now is unnecessary. In the shed, can help me clean up some of the stuff around and uh, prepare for industry. And I just like putting the stuff in a shed as opposed to like building a huge barn and just filling it full of kegs or what have you. It's all about uh, not just, you know, how many spaces there are inside for efficiency, but appearances. You can upgrade the shed and they look positively adorable. We'll find more money. I... I remembered this requiring wood. I think I was just, like, had these these prices in my head. <laughs> I might very well even be able to sell some of the stuff I have on hand to make that happen. Um... I don't think so, though. I guess, <laughs> technically... Yes. <laughs> Let's not worry about it. We can paint buildings too if I were so interested. Nah. Painting is not something that existed in the base game. So, I'm not going to be putting my sheds down here in this run. I think even when I get the greenhouse settled, like the greenhouse, I can move closer to be like here. It fucks with me that apparently I could click on and move the entire damn farmhouse. Uh, this area is definitely going to be for crops, I would say, for now. The shed is probably like... Like, I still want to have the road here. I like the road being here. Uh, so I probably put the shed and greenhouse close to each other in the nebulous time period of the future. Do I still keep this for crops? Maybe. I wanted to put like a second silo up here. And maybe a third silo. I don't see myself needing that fucking money. I could move this silo over here, but that doesn't give me anything. That's fine being where it all is. It's not like that's really obscuring me from doing anything. I wouldn't want to fit it in here. That would just create like a weird situation when I warp into the farm. I'd like have to run around here. I wouldn't put it here. See, I'd put it on, say, here. I could always stuff a silo, though, like here. Yeah, I could just stuff silos like back here by Grandpa's ominous notes. Like, I never need to access these. What the fuck am I going to do over here? And that's like, uh, say, on the default farm layout where I've shoved things around. Also, uh, just noticing the... There are some trees around the farm, and a good chunk of them are wild trees. This area is a little, uh, a little ugly, but it also allows me to leave this stuff alone. And it allows me to keep the path here. I have room to put something over here. I'm not sure what. And I could actually put the path right up to the shed. Yeah, and that's enough room for the 2x2 two two for the horse to come in. Sure. We'll, we'll have a shed here. Why not? We're experimenting. We're exploring around. All right. It's not where I thought I was going to be putting the shed. So we're going to your new shed first thing tomorrow morning. Cool. All right, y'all have a blessed day. Thought I forgot about the worms, didn't you? This time I didn't. <laughs>
did forget about the tool to use. Prehistoric hand axe. Oh, Gunther can tell me more about prehistoric hand axes. Gunther with the chops, the chop master. Hey, Linus, would you, would you, do you like chanterelles? It's a good find. I'm always happy when eating wild food. Thank you. People here seem nice, but they avoid me. People are afraid of the... <laughs> Sorry, that was Linus' spooked face that I just fucking <laughs> went past. That apology was as much to myself as it was to you. <laughs> Remember, these trees have moss on them if I care to give things a good whack. I can see, like, the motivation for why you would... Hmm, that one doesn't have a tapper. Why you would put, uh, like, vinegar on the trees? I talked about how, like, that's a new thing that's been added, but also, like, moss. Useful resource. For me. You love how I can't remember where the fuck I put this horse, even though the horse has a damn Santa hat on? Damn if I did not misplace this horse. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. My mahogany trees. I forgot to factor these in for my hardwood collecting. He says ripping down more trees so that he can find his horse. Heinrich! There we go. <laughs> Heinrich! I love you! Heinrich! Do you want a cave carrot? Heinrich! Heinrich, I'm sorry! Can't have a seat there? Immersion ruined. Wild plum blocking horse removing. Okay, so I'm not able to build all those extra rooms for free like I thought I would be able to do. That's okay. Now, so I'm glad I can see, like, moss, not just when it's, uh... Like green rainings, we didn't have any more green rain. You're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't in the market for a building upgrade. You get pretty lonely up here in the mountains. I, mean, you've... I was gonna say, well, you have your children, and I thought about what her children do, and like, well, you have your husband, and I thought about what her husband does. <laughs> okay, he's just heading back home. I was thinking about Alex there for the, uh, I was like, wait, there's just more worms in there? <laughs> Hold up, I missed those. Three copper ore. Yeah. It's all good. He might be, like, playing around outside, like, practicing the skateboard or what have you. It's not impossible I could get some quartz to him. Looks at time. Thinks about how quick things would need to be. It's impossible. Well, isn't this just a bunch of messy shit? Griffith nods. Alright, so let's stack the eggs in here for now, and then grab just these two. Said I was saving some gold star mayonnaise for the time being. And these iridium eggs. Change my mind and only sell, save one of those instead of two. And I might be an early night. Think about what else I'd want to do around the farm and... I'm kind of drawing a blank. How about that? Haley, I go to bed? You look like you've been working hard, dear. Let me help you de-stress. I mean... <laughs> Look at that face. Okay. Let me, uh, let me get the hot pepper jelly ready. <laughs> For both of our pleasure. All right. 
I'm going to sell this. As is my birthright. Anything else I'm interested in selling? Nah, I'm good. Could I could understand why I would have some more lights in here. She's... I gotta think about where she spends her time to where I'd put the light. Like here? I mean, the fridge already has a light. But she's kind of standing like where else I might put the light, so you know. I wake up in the morning And I ain't got nothing to say Come home in the evening I go to bed feeling the same way Thought I could pick that up and move it momentarily. I was like, no, no, that's just the entire cooking apparatus. I think I'll tuck this chest back here for now. And I do like to put my cooked dishes in there. For the time being, I will also shove my legendary fish in there. Now, I will also put my flowers in there. I could have sold these, really. Sell half of them. If someone to put my furniture in there, how about we make a new chest for the furniture? I'll go shove it in a cubby hole somewhere. I got plenty of wood! Can't forget about the uh, higher quality chest, too. When I was playing multiplayer, I'd definitely be using the signs to signpost things. But I'm not. A lot of things would be different than multiplayer. This is where furniture could go that we ain't fucking using. Now, do I actually want to put any of this stuff up? Uh, sure. It's a, it's a big fish. All right, going to bed, Haley. She's like, I'll follow you shortly because they go to bed at 10. Bam, bed early. I will be de-stressed, damn it. <laughs> I should have sat in front of the fireplace and turned it off while she was tending the plant. Oh, well, I had some hot pepper jelly to tend to. 